Hey guys, in this video we are going to create a unit test for one of our components of the Vue.js application that we've been working on for the past two weeks. We're going to see that in a second, but first we are going to review what are the benefits of unit testing in general, what is the contract of our components that we have to validate, and then we're going to see what are the specific things we are going to test from our task component. Let's review the benefits of unit testing in general. The first is pretty obvious. Check that our components work correctly. If you make a change in your application, you can quickly check that you didn't break anything by running your unit tests. Or if you're using a continuous integration tool, for example, you can check that really quickly. Unit tests provide documentation. When you start working with a component for the first time, tests are a way to understand how a component works because the tests reflect, or they should reflect, the expected behavior of the component. Another benefit of unit testing is easier debugging. If something goes wrong when you make a change, for example, and you have a good unit testing coverage, you can run your tests and easily find where the issue is. And finally, unit tests lead to less bugs in your application. The component contract is the interface of the component, and it's pretty much a contract that says, if you give me this input, I'm going to give you this output. So in our tests, we simplify the process and we only focus on the input and the output to test our components. The input of a component could be a user action, such as a click of the user on a button, the props that we pass down to components, or providing a store that is used by a component with the correct data. The output of a component, it could be rendered output that is a combination of DOM nodes and view instances, view events, if a component dispatches an event, that's a form of output, and function calls, if a component triggers some action by calling a function, that's another form of output. And this is what we are going to be testing. We are going to test if our component is a view instance, then we are going to test if the task name is rendered, after that, we are going to test if the delete task function is called when we press on the delete button. And finally, we are going to test if the complete task function is called when the checkbox is clicked. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, this is our application running and these are the task components. We are going to test these components. We are going to create a unit test using view test utils and chest. Basically, view test utils creates a wrapper. So view test utils is a wrapper based API. And a wrapper is basically an object that contains a component, a mount con component. We're going to see how to do that in a second in our tests. And it allows us to test that component. It will allow us to assign methods to that wrapper to do some assertions on that wrapper, to, to set properties to the wrapper. What we are going to test is, in our task component, we're going to test that is a view instance, that actually this component is a view instance, that the name of the task is rendered, that when we press on delete, it calls the delete task function, and when we click this checkbox, it's calling the mark complete function. Let's see the code. It's going to be easier to understand. So this is the component, or this is the template of the component, basically the HTML of the component. And what we are rendering here is the task name. Here we have a checkbox. And when we click on it, we are calling this mark complete function. And here we have the delete button. And when we click on it, is going to call the delete task function. So we are going to create tests to validate all this, these things. So let's move on to the test itself. So first, we are going to check that this uh, component that we are importing here, this is the task component that we are going to test. So we are going to test that is actually a view instance in order to do that, we are going to mount this task component using the mount function provided by view test utils that we are importing here. 
and we are passing not only the component but also the props data and we are passing a task so we can render the component and we can check that is a view instance so i'm going to run the test npm run test unit okay now we can see that our component is a view instance okay let's add some more tests here let's create a test to validate that it renders the task name basically we are going to test that this is rendered so test to put a description for the test renders the task name And we pass an arrow function here with the actual test. I'm going to copy and paste this wrapper because we are going to use it again. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a constant outside this initialization because I'm going to use that constant to validate that the name of the task is actually rendered in the component. So I'm going to create a task name constant and I'm going to use this as the value and I'm going to use this constant again here to reuse that constant and here i'm going to create an expect and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the wrapper html that is actually the html that is rendered and i'm going to assert that contains using to contain the task name So now with this test, I can check that it renders the task name that I'm passing here as a prop. So I'm going to comment this one just to run specifically that test. It's rendering the task name as we expect. I'm going to uncomment this and run all the tests of the test suite. Okay, now we know that the task component is a view instance, and we also know that it renders the task name. Let's create a new test to validate the delete task button. If we go back to the component, we can see that we have a delete button and when we press on that button, this function is called. So what we're going to do is we're going to mock this function. So let's do that. Let's go back to the test and let's create a new one with a description that says um, calls delete task when button is clicked. when the delete button is clicked. Okay, and I'm going to add a narrow function and I'm going to add the actual code of the test here. Okay, and I'm going to copy again the wrapper And here I'm going to mock the delete task function by using the method fn from chest. const delete task equals chest.fn. 
This is how we can mock a function using chest. Now I'm going to set this method to the wrapper. So wrapper that set methods, and I'm going to pass the delete task function. Delete task equals to delete task. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger the click event on the button. So in order to do that, first, I need to find in the wrapper, I need to find the button. And then I'm going to trigger the click event. And finally, as usual, I need to add an expect to assert that we call the delete task when this event is triggered. So expect delete task, in this case is the function, is actually this function. And we use to have been called. Using this method, we are checking that this function is called when the click event is triggered on the delete button. I'm going to comment the first two tests. So we only test the delete button. I'm going to save this and I'm going to run the test. So now we know that when we click the delete button, the delete function is being called. Okay, and the last thing that we have to check is that when we click on the checkbox, this function mark complete is being called. So in order to do that, let me first remove the comments. So I'm going to add the test to check that when we click on the checkbox, the mark complete function is called. So let's say test calls mark complete function when the checkbox is clicked. And as usual, we create another function here. And here we add the implementation of the test. So I'm going to copy this because it's going to be the same wrapper. And again, we are going to mock the mark complete function const mark complete. And we're going to use the fn function from chest, chest.fn. This is our mark complete function or the mock of the mark complete function. And then we are going to set the method to the wrapper. Wrapper that set methods. And we assign mark complete to mark complete. So now our wrapper has this mock function or mock method. And now what we need to do is we need to find in our wrapper the checkbox. And we are going to use the input and the class as the selector input.cv and we are going to trigger a click on that checkbox. It is pretty similar to the previous test where we triggered the click on the delete button. So we trigger the click on the checkbox and finally we add our assertion that is actually that we expect that 
the mark complete that is our mark function have been called. Okay. And now that we have all our tests, I'm going to run the suite entirely. And let's see what happens. Okay, we have our two test suite, the four tests passed. So now we know that our component is a view instance that renders the task name as we expect. We also know that it calls the delete task function when the delete button is clicked. And we also know that it calls the mark complete function when the checkbox is clicked. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and I see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.